<laughs> yeah, they go close. They look like we're friends. Wow, friends in the mom's kidding. Sorry. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay. <laughs> was there was this park that was really close to our church, and so we would have our uh, Sunday school stuff like um, times at the park, and we we would walk either through the fence or around the fence just to get there and it was really fun because after we were done Sunday school it was just like we get to play in the park and be kulit and everything <laughs> so it was really it was a really memorable time because I don't know like there's one part of Sunday school which is learning but then at the end you get to play so that's so the fun yeah the fun I remember there was this one experience I had. Um, it was one day where the level twos and threes were together and I was level three at the time, so I was one of the older kids. And I remember there was only one teacher for, for both classes and so we combined. And so the teacher at the time was uh, expecting the level threes to be more responsible and and look after the level twos a little. And I remember she had to step out of the class for a bit and and like we were super loud <laughs> and I think some of the people in the sanctuary got a little mad. And when the teacher came back, she was so disappointed in us. I remember getting like we were being really mad about it, and one of the teachers couldn't have, or like, they were getting really frustrated with us. So they left, and we all had to like, group together and work as a team, I guess, and apologize, <laughs> because we were being really, like, rude, and I'm pretty sure it's still kind of blurry because it was a long time ago. I don't know, that's the first thing I remember, also because we have a poster in there, and like the Sunday after, we all made it together, like the whole class, most people that were there the previous Sunday, because they were trying to teach us about like respect, being respectful, and so. <laughs> um, the main thing we mainly remember is that we were really loud at like super bad. Children. Yeah, we were really very. We were very cool it as little kids and. The teachers were always yelling at us to be quiet and we were like, we would be quiet but then later on someone would laugh and everyone else would laugh. So it was, it was, very, <laughs> it was very difficult for the teachers but um, one of the most memorable things I remember was as I grew older throughout um, the ministry, like I think it was level 3 I think, was when like we actually started to experience God and His presence. And I remember when we um, we opened up our hearts to him and accepted Christ in our hearts, and it was really amazing because I felt like real love, and that was just the start of my journey as a Christian. I remember like just meeting all the like not really meeting all the kids, but first time going to Sunday school, and I was like I was just like oh my goodness like who are these people like who are these kids, and and. During throughout the day, throughout the service, right? You know, I, I got to like meet all the kids and all that stuff. And then, but was, and it's so, so typical of me. My first Sunday, I was playing in the parking lot after the service, and then I, I go and I scrape my arm. I had to go to the hospital that day, so I think that was pretty notable, pretty memorable as a kid. And you know, but from my from, from the good experiences, that was just to meet a bunch of my lifelong friends that I do have now. You know, first time meeting them, so it's pretty sad, pretty nice. Uh, I don't know. I can't really choose one. I just remember just all those times that you've been like really loud and being such bad kids, <laughs> and the teachers just putting up with us. It's, I'm I'm amazed that they've that they've gone this far without you know doing anything about us. And I don't know. I just want to thank them for everything that they've done. So yeah. A lot like. I can honestly say that where I am now is because of them and like the lessons that they teach you and just the blood, sweat and tears that they put into 
taking care of us every Sunday is a huge part of who I am now and like it's something I'll always remember and cherish so they play a huge role in my faith, I think, in my journey, in my walk with God. They've really impacted my life pretty well. Um, I guess Sunday school really taught me how to be a, a good kid, I guess. And um, yeah, they really showed me how to respect my teachers and respect my classmates and to just live, to like be a good Christian in school and stuff. And I think that my friends really saw that I was different because of what I believed in. Sunday school was just an extra step to like giving me good theology, I guess, of how to be a good Christian and how to love one another. So, yeah. Uh, they really encouraged me to do what I'm doing right now. Especially like when I, because I wasn't really always interested in doing this, but I don't know, the teachers and like everyone there just kind of encouraged me and like got me into it and I feel like without them I wouldn't be doing this stuff that I'm doing now, so. Man, they, they, they just, um, looking at back now, um, so, I was so oblivious to what, to like, like, the things that they, they did teach me because God knows I was just a, not the greatest student, you know, um, very, very, um, I don't know how do I say this, I never paid attention and I um, definitely made teachers frustrated and a lot of stuff and I think one of the things I, I do, I think I've learned now and I think I do realize just the great deal of patience and the great deal of grace that they, that each and every single teacher has and especially for a kid like me who I'm pretty sure had a pretty bad rep, <laughs> you know, for being really, really hard-headed and really frustrating, you know, so yeah. In Sunday school, they basically like taught me the morals I have now. Like they've like shaped basically how I think and like my faith in God right now, which I'm forever thankful for. Like Sunday school shaped, prepared me for junior youth and junior youth prepared me for youth. And it's just like, I've just grown so much, but it, it all started at Sunday school, which is something I really like look back on with like thankfulness. <laughs> um, well, Sunday school is where like we all started our faith, and like my dad's a Sunday school teacher, so yeah. Also, like the people around me, like at the tin and like um, at the val, all those people who who are there, like are in my life right now, and they just just someone I could talk to and just have a laugh with and they helped me grow spiritually as a person and yeah. <laughs> Keep it up because next thing you know we'll be taking your spot and, <laughs> and you guys can you know sit back and relax while we do while we do it. Um you know just be patient because uh, you were patient with us so uh, yeah, I just just keep up what you're doing and yeah. Uh, for me, have a lot of patience. <laughs> I know it's definitely hard, um, especially because there's a lot of kids. Either there's a lot of kids who are really quiet and not receptive, or there's a lot of kids who just love to play. So really, just I like I know the teachers who've already like accepted the role of being a Sunday school teacher, like have this already, but just. Make sure you have a bit more patience because it's really hard and just pull through and just like rely on the, lo the love you have for the your kids because it really goes far. It really does go far. Yeah, uh, probably just to remember that everything that you do, every lesson that you teach, every, every time you help a kid or like give them a glass of water or ask them about how their week was, like know that that isn't in vain like the work that you do is not in vain and that it really plants seeds because even now if you ask anyone that grew like grew up in Sunday school they know that these people sowed into their lives and it's something that you really don't forget and like as they as these kids grow up they're gonna remember it and it'll help like shape them and just to know that on Sunday there's people that care for them people that look after them people that are excited to teach them about Jesus, all of that, like that sticks with you. So just don't ever be discouraged, even though sometimes you feel like nothing's sticking, 
or that it's just like they don't even care like they do and mm -hmm. the Lord really just he'll grow whatever you're pouring into them so yeah just do it with love like you guys always have and I don't know like don't ever be discouraged <laughs> yeah yeah I would say keep on keep on doing it and keep on doing what you're doing and I know it's tough sometimes I did level ones for like a few months and it was so hard I remember just like telling my dad like how do you even do this and how do you have so much patience with kids and stuff but it's so worth it even though it's hard sometimes and it's so draining but like you're really investing into the next generation and um, God doesn't show favoritism about age and he can work through the kids ministry to do great things like in Acts 2 it says uh, he'll pour out his spirit among all flesh your sons and daughters will prophesy and stuff and I just really want to say that over you guys that you guys are conduits of his spirit to to just show the next generation his like who he is and how he wants to work through the kids and just reveal himself in that way so just keep doing what you're doing because it's pretty awesome <laughs> you can do it. You guys are awesome. You guys are the best. Like, I don't know. Just please continue to be as patient with the children now as you were with us. We <laughs> were a mess. We were a mess. <laughs> but look at us now. <laughs> we're, we're growing up and you guys really impact and like plant seeds into what like the youngest generations of our church. So keep going because we are so thankful for you guys and all the hard work that you do. My advice would be, it's worth what you guys are actually doing, and like even though it's hard and like the children are really annoying sometimes, because we are annoying, um, it really does make like an impact in our lives. So just keep doing what you're doing. Jesus loves you. <laughs> uh, I just want to say thank you also, and um, just be patient, <laughs> even though we're very loud. Um, be patient because it's yeah, it's definitely worth it a lot and the youth ministry the children is um, our future for our church and The spirit like spiritually it's just gonna grow even more and more no matter how young you are I just had the great that great deal of patience, you know And just to have that that love for the kids that you do teach because man kids like me who um, at the time are so oblivious to um what's actually going on in the class right that sometimes and a lot of things do go over the heads but throughout the years as you do grow up you realize just how just how good of a job some of these some of these teachers really did do and how they really did impact their lives so that, that great deal that great deal of patience and that understanding and that grace and just showing the kind of love that you that that God has for kids because if anything Sunday school teachers are the the um, almost the first taste that kids will ever get of Jesus, you know? So just to have that love that God has. I'd like to say just thank you for all the teachers who, the previous ones who aren't doing it anymore and to the ones who still are. Like, thank you guys so much for your sacrifice and your love for the ministry and everything that you do for the Lord is not in vain and I just declare blessing over you guys because it is hard work and you guys just have such a such a grace over your lives and like I wouldn't be where I am without you guys investing into me so keep it up and just God bless you guys and just keep showing his love to them kids because he really loves the kids as well so any thank you message for your teachers uh thank you for everything i guess because we wouldn't be here sitting here if we, if you weren't teaching us so, yeah. yeah just uh thanks for all that you've done and just um just keep doing what you're doing because uh you're really leading the uh away for the new generation so yeah um 
honestly thank you so much for all that you do and just for pouring into these kids uh it makes such a big i always, i don't know what else to say but it makes a big difference and um like we're like stepping into this i don't want to say era but we're we're really just empowering the younger generation and so your guys' job isn't light it's a big deal but you guys do it so well and we're really blessed that God has given us like a lot of teachers. <laughs> um, yeah. So thank you so much just for uh, everything you've done and uh, the teachers who've stuck with us even at, a, at our like <laughs> lowest and annoyingness list. Yes. <laughs> and it's really a blessing to have you and what you do in our like life and like for me and Daniel like I think we keep saying this for the whole time but we wouldn't be who we are and we wouldn't be doing what we do without you so thank you so much for your time dedication and your love for God and his children and yeah thank you so much and <laughs> yeah. happy teacher day happy teacher day <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for tolerating us and we love you so much and I just pray for more blessings in your life. Yeah, um, yeah, I really do thank you. Um, I remember we made like a thank you poster. It was really ugly, <laughs> but we actually are really thankful for you guys, even though that poster was really uh, messy. Yeah. We love okay. you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. 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 for all the efforts, like for like the last minute Sunday school plans, all all for us really for serving God and remember that through teaching through us you're still serving God and even though it may seem like there's so much hard work going into it. You're not being like noticed for it. God notices everything. Those little, even the little things, God notices everything. And I'm so thankful. And He is so thankful, and He sees the work that you guys are doing. <laughs> oh yes, I do want to thank all the teachers I have from I think Tita Irma, Tita Nita, who else? I think Tita Emmy. Yeah, and there's um, I'm trying to struggle to remember. Gosh, I'm shaking because um, I know it's definitely frustrating. I remember this, Tita Nita, I'm really sorry. I remember one time making you cry. That's not nice of me. You know, I'm sorry, but I just want to thank all you guys, all the teachers. Just thank you so much for dealing with how hard-headed and how frustrating and just how unwilling I was to listen in class and just, and man, it's something where, again, I've learned so much from you guys, especially with with you know patience and grace and just love for the kids and all that stuff so I just want to thank you that you guys are almost like my inspirations because I do plan on becoming a Sunday school teacher sooner or later and that's pretty nice pretty nice so you know you guys did a really good job for one of the worst Sunday school students it's now a, a potential teacher in Sunday school so you guys did a really good job so I just want to thank you guys so much and support what you do day in and day out you know, and each time you teach, oh, Tita Mel, yes. I want to thank you too, Tita Peachy, all that stuff. Wow, a lot of teachers. You guys, you guys are amazing. You guys do such an amazing job. You just keep doing what you're doing, and then just yeah, just thank you so much. I wouldn't be where I am if it weren't for you guys. If it weren't for the teaching and that foundation built. Um, like, look at Gabe. Look at Bruno. Look at Daniel, look at anyone who um, is on the worship team, all the young people on the worship team. Uh, they all started with just that foundation in kids' ministry, and it's just so important. I cannot stress that enough. What you guys do is so significant in our lives, and I just want to encourage you guys to not stop. Um, don't lose hope. Don't lose the faith. Keep working hard, and just enjoy what you're doing. Um, yeah, just enjoy what you're doing, and God will just bless you for the things that you're doing, even though others may not see it. He sees what you're doing, and He's going to bless you um, 10, 60, 100 fold, and it's just amazing. Uh, there's not much else I can say, but 
enjoy it and I look forward to the stories that you guys are going to tell me when I get back and yeah hopefully you guys have fun. Hey everyone, um, so one of my favorite moments or many favorite moments in Sunday school were all the Bible stories like David and Goliath, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, Daniel. Um, I just like, I love that because of all of, of how you guys taught with so much passion because at the time I never really read my Bible and, and honestly you sowing seeds to those Bible, stor uh, Bible stories like just inspired me to be such a student of the word and to search scripture and to know the gospel and to just to share it wherever I am. Honestly, I would not be here traveling around the US and sharing the gospel and seeing lives changed without, if it weren't for you guys sowing into my life. So I just want to thank all of you Sunday school teachers and I just want to say just keep doing what you're doing. You guys are an awesome, you guys are awesome and you guys are doing an awesome job in, that, in, the, in the church and um, in raising up the next generation. And I just want to thank all of you, all of you guys, because you guys are honestly so, um, like, so foundational in, in, in who I am. I want to thank personally Pastor Richard Benag, uh, Tita Nida, Tita Emmy, um, Tita Irma. You guys are awesome. And I just want to speak a blessing on all of you guys. I love you guys and I miss you. Bless you.